Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie Poo and once again it is the time of the month that I will be showcasing my bullet journal, specifically the theme that I did for June 2021. Um, as always, I am consistent with a video game theme for this bullet journal and um, in fact this month's theme will be the last theme that I will be doing in my uh, Amanda Rage Lee Black Bullet Journal. Um, so I'm really uh, really excited to be moving on into a new journal. Um, and yeah, I wanted to experiment a little bit with this theme um, because I bought some new stationery. Um, I will be doing a whole video, by the way, uh, that will be coming out very, very soon. Um, in fact, I still don't know if this video will be coming out soon or the stationery all one. So uh, if you're watching this, that means that the bullet journal video did come out, uh, did come out first. <laughs> if if you don't have the materials that I use for this theme, um, I'm pretty sure that my team, the drawings, um, were easy enough so you can honestly repro reproduce them with any type of medium that you have. You, it can be like normal markers, it can be pen, um, but yeah. <laughs> Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more of this content and also give it a like as well. And yeah, enough chit chat and let's get right into it. So for June 2021, my team will be centered around the character of Kirby. I love Kirby games. It's actually part of the only platforming games that I can actually play without raging on. <laughs> that and the Yoshi games, of course. So, like I said in my intro, I will mainly be using different materials that I usually do. And if you are interested in some of them, I will be putting all the links of the products that I use in the description show. Description box below, there we go. <laughs> and uh, be on the lookout also for the stationary video that I will be doing out very soon. So for my cover page, I drew Kirby riding its a warp star and going across a starry sky. Um, I also left some space so I can write June um, in cursive letters and also a little quote on the other page. And once again, if you are new to my channel, you will notice that uh, I don't write fully my bullet journal in English. That is because I am actually French Canadian. I live in the province of Quebec in Canada. And um, my, you know, my main language is a French. So sometimes it's easier for me to write stuff in French, like the dates of the week or the month or etc. Or sometimes it's easier for me to write them in English. Uh, depending like how much space the word takes, I either pick the one in French or English. So the markers I will mainly be using are the Uniposca pens, which are pen markers that you need to shake and put pressure on to make the paint come out. I love the look of it in my cover page and I ended up using all the, the pens all across my spreads. Um, so if you don't have Posca pen and you would like to recreate this theme, I feel like Kirby is a easy shape character to recreate. So I'm sure that whatever marker you decide to pick or whatever medium or whatever material you will be decided to use if you want to recreate this, um, I'm sure it will look great. So because Posca pens are actually marker uh, or paint markers, like I said. Um, I had to let every step of my drawings dry before adding more colors. And the cool thing about these is that when the paint is fully dry, I can basically add on any colors that I would like on top without having it to blend with the color under it. Um, just, you know, just like painting. Um, this technique really creates like a very bright and minimal illustration, which I love. I also didn't want it to add too much shade or highlights or cell shading uh, so I could keep like everything balanced. At some point I kind of wish that I had a shade of pink that was lighter because Kirby com do comes off a little bit too flashy to me sometimes, but I guess that, uh, you know, that will be for next time. <laughs> Also, I was a little bit inspired by another YouTuber for this theme. Um, in fact, while I was doing researches for, um, you know, 
spread that kind of like fits with my Starry Night, Starry Night Sky mix with Kirby. I found out that someone did a Kirby team of June of last year. Um, I didn't. I didn't inspire myself uh, from them for uh, some spread, so uh, yeah, I saw that we putting her video as well in the description box, so um, if you don't typically, uh, not typically, but if you don't necessarily like some of my spread, well, you can check out their video if, um, you know, you would like to find more inspiration. So my spread is pretty much done at the moment. I'm just adding some white highlight. Um, like I said, because um, the with the paint, it creates like a very bright style. So um, because I wanted to have like a little bit of like dimension, um, I did the contour of my star with a orange. And because I wanted like everything to pop, if that makes sense, um, I am using a, a light blue Tosca pen for my, you know, the title of the month, <laughs> which is uh, June. I didn't want it to add like a numbers on so or some sort because I thought that it would be like a little bit too much. Uh, and I wanted to keep like everything, you know, minimal, like I said. Um, I kind of regret putting um, June there. Uh, on the left side because I feel like it's a little bit too compacted there, but you know, that's okay. We all make mistakes So moving on we uh, will be doing my monthly calendar Spread so just like for my Final Fantasy 7 team um, I don't really have a lot planned this month, so I just wanted to have a, a small calendar on one page and on the other page I'll be writing down my events, my goals of the month, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's probably my most decorative spread, so feel free to uh, tone it down if you think that it looks like a little bit too much, but um, yeah. So for this one, I'll be having my calendar in a pink cloud, um, the letters of the week, uh, in French, of course, uh, in a purple cloud. I'll be putting uh, Juin, June, um, not in a cloud, but like all the letters will be like cloud shape, if that makes sense. <laughs> and um, because I wanted to have like a little bit more like brightness, um, I added some rainbows as well. Um, I think I forgot to mention it, but on my cover page, I also wanted like to bring everything together by uh, using my Sakura gel pen in gold to make like some sparkles and some stars. And I did uh, pretty much the same thing over there. So yeah, on my cover page, um, I did mention that Kirby was uh, writing its rap, rap star. And in this one, Kirby is actually uh, having a, one of its special power uh, which is using a parasol so it can like you know falls down very very slowly to the ground so uh yeah he he's having a little ride on his parasol <laughs> So, like I always do in my Playing With Me videos these days, um, I would like to talk a little bit more about uh, Kirby, uh, his creation, and the game that he was featured on. So, Kirby was created by Masahiro Sakurai, the same guy that put together the Super Smash Bros. series, actually, um, at the age of 19. Kirby's video game debut was in Kirby's Dreamland on the Game Boy in 1992. Um, it was a platforming game and Kirby's main ability was to inhale its enemies and that could be thrown out to become like a star-shaped projectile. Or to swallow it. <laughs> uh, because we all know that Kirby really likes to eat. Um, it can also jump up in the air and inhale hair to uh, give him the ability to fly. And also, as you can already tell, uh, Kirby is a pink ball-shaped creature and uh, he also lives on a planet called Planet Popstar in the country of Dreamland. Just like, you know, the his first game title comes from. <laughs> um, it's only in Kirby's second game, Kirby's Adventure, which is 
probably my favorite honestly, <laughs> um, on the NES in 1993 where it gained its iconic ability to gain special powers. So I did mention the parasol a little bit earlier, um, but he would get those abilities when he actually, um, you know, swallows an enemy. So, for example, if Kirby would swallow uh, a Waddle Do, it would gain the Beam ability that unleashed like electricity in front of it to damage enemies. Or um, I don't remember the name of the enemy that gave him the Parasol, but yeah, it would gain like special abilities like that. And in Kirby Superstar, released on the SNES in 1996, Kirby now changes the Parasol when he get a Copy ability. So, for example, again, with the beam ability, um, when he would gain this ability, he would wear a Jetster hat and hold a rod. In most games, Kirby's job is to save the world or the universe from some sort of dark villain, and um, the dark villain mainly manipulates other characters that are also seen as villains uh, like King Dedede and Meta Knight. So we don't really know the age of Kirby, but we uh, he is mentioned a lot in the game as a jolly guy, like I did in my quote page a little bit earlier, or even as a little boy in some games. Kirby barely talks, but we mostly hear him saying stuff like Poyo or Hi. Um, in Smash Bros, although, when he copies a character ability, we can hear him shout the move he is about to use if the original character would say it. So moving on, I am working on my habit tracker and my mood tracker. So uh, like I said, Kirby's Adventure is my favorite Kirby game. So I wanted to do a little homage to it. Um, so on the left, we see uh, one of the first Kirby stage um, that we see in the game. So I drew him like, you know, jumping out uh, in the air so he can like climb up on the little platform um, and on the bottom of it I wanted to mimic the um, the style of like the graphics that we see in the game so we can see like Kirby's health bar with the ability that he actually has and is a number of life so yeah, and at the bottom of that, um, to redo, if we can say, the style of the graphic uh, of like the number of hit that Kirby can take before losing a life, um, I did that, but for every habit that I want to track this month. And on the right side, um, I wanted to draw one of the first boss that we have to fight in the game, uh, which is a tree that has apple in it, he actually like shakes himself to drop some apples um, in order, like you know, to hit Kirby. And if you don't have a copy ability, you are meant to um, inhale the apples and throw it back at it. <laughs> um, and yeah, and I also did him on the little platform because I remember that in um, Smash Bros. I think it's in. Brawl or even it's probably like even from uh, Melee or the original Super Smash Bros um, When you are on the Kirby stage the the tree is actually there and um, It's kind of like on the platform obviously because it's a fighting game and um, Yeah, so that's why I did it this way And just in case someone wonders, the tree do have a name. Um, its name is Wispy Woods and it's also a very iconic boss in the Kirby game because I don't take my word for it, but I do have a feeling like uh, Wispy Woods comes back in every Kirby game. <laughs> So under the platform, um, I, I thought that it was a little bit empty. So I had it kind of like a checkerboard effort to it. Um, I also repass with um, my green Posca marker and I wanted to do some grass effect. 
Um, so I just drew like some little lines to mimic the grass. Um, and yeah. Oh, I think I forgot to mention it, but for my mood tracker, I'll be drawing, uh, I'll be coloring, in fact, an apple depending on my mood. So uh, I really liked my four color system that I did for my Final Fantasy VII team. So I'll be redoing the same thing for this month. And now the next spreads that I'll be working on are actually going to be my monthly task spread and my brain dump. So, um, like I said at the beginning, I wanted to do a starry night team with like some pink and purple clouds. So, uh, for this spread, because I do want to keep as much space for myself to write down ideas, to write down my task, uh, to write down the errands that I have to do this month. Um, I, yeah, I didn't want to take too much space with like the decorative aspect. So, um, I decided to draw a big, fluffy, pink and purple cloud. Um, and we see at the bottom left corner that Kirby is having some sweet dreams. <laughs> um, for the left page, this is where I'm going to be putting my monthly task and my monthly errands. Um, I didn't want to put like everything in the cloud because like I said, I want to keep like things balanced. So I just colored down two uh, pale blue rectangle um, and for my brain dump, I did put um, the title in the cloud and I'll be using one of my new um, pen that I bought that I will be showcasing in my stationary video coming down very, very soon. Once again. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and I wanted to test out um, if I could actually write down with a, a white paint on top of it, even though uh, the blue is kind of like a very, you know, it's not a, a very, like, dark color. So uh, I wanted to test it out and uh, surprise, surprise, it did work out very well, so on the left rectangle, I did write task in big, uh, in capital letters, I mean, and uh, errands on the other one. So I did mention that uh, my favorite Kirby game is actually Kirby Adventures, but the first Kirby game that I owned was actually a remake of Kirby Superstar that was released on the DS called Kirby Superstar Ultra. I did eventually bought a copy, a copy of Kirby 64 Crystal Shard on the N64. Um, the platform that I actually played the most uh, Kirby's Adventure is actually on my uh, NES Switch app on my Nintendo Switch because I do not own it like you know originally on the uh, Nintendo uh, Nintendo Entertainment System um, and yeah I actually did a hundred percent playthrough. And now I'm just like passing over the clouds and I'm trying, like I said at the beginning, adding like some like shading effect without adding too much to it. So um, I just like drew some shapes that mimics the texture of a cloud and with um, the pens that I bought, which are just basic, some basic colored pens that I found on Amazon. Um, I just like drew some uh, diagonal light um kind of like not so spaced out from each other to uh really make a good shading effect and now we are working on my final spread of this plan with me video which will be my first weekly spread so um because i don't really have a lot plan i wanted to experiment a little bit with uh, my first spread this month so um i'm going to be having my um you know my weekly days a little bit to spread out a little bit and just because you know i wanted to stick with my cloudy team um i drew seven um clouds um, either in purple, in pink, or in blue. Um, and in them, I'll be writing down the days of the week. And I also, um, I actually did a cloud for uh, the weekend 
So I'm not gonna do like a um, Saturday or a Sunday cloud. I'm just gonna have like the weekend cloud if that makes sense. Um, and my last cloud will actually be for my weekly to-do list. Um, and yeah, just to have like a little bit more dimension to uh, the clouds, I wanted to do um, some kind of like contour uh, around it. So uh, for the plain clouds, I use a purple Posca pen. Um, for the blue one, I just use like a darker blue. And for the purple one, I didn't know what to use, so I just went with pink again. <laughs> And in this red, Kirby is just an inhaling some hair and he's uh, flying across the sky. I did a small calendar on the right page. Uh, I wrote um, the, the first date of the week in blue. So, uh, you know, I know where I am like visually in the month. We are at like the first week of the month. So I drew them in blue and the rest I use um, my Tombow uh, brush pen to uh, draw the rest in black. Um, I didn't know what to do for uh, to write like the date the dates of the month. Um, so I had a crazy idea. What if I lay I let the paint dry a little bit and I had some stars to like you know to make like things every to make things pop a little bit more uh, but things didn't go actually according to plan I had to wait a long long time before like waiting everything like to dry um, I tried at first but I saw that my uh, my Posca pen was like bl blending a little bit with like the color under it so I let it dry and um, after that I just paint over and over and over again <laughs> I wish that I did leave myself some space uh, so, you know, I could like not just repaint over and over again uh, to make like the yellow very opaque. But yeah, it didn't end up uh, working in the end. It's just that I had to wait a little bit more before uh, adding more paints so I can let like the first a layer of yellow paint to dry and then you know adding up the rest and now I'm just doing the final step which is uh, using my white postcard pen to write down uh, the days of the week in French um, as well as the weekend and for my to-do list and with that in mind this is the final spread of the video uh, and the beginning of my final weekly spread in um, this bullet journal and yeah <laughs> Thank you so much for keeping up with my video until the end and if you did um, you can leave a sparkling art emoji in the comments so uh, I know that you watch it until the end um, and yeah like I said be on the lookout for that stationary haul video um, that will be coming out soon or it's already out I don't know <laughs> um, and yeah I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel really recently um, with um, the shiny gym challenge playthrough that I started to re-upload again because something happened that I can I could finally move on with the uploads um, because you know everything depends on our luck basically in this playthrough um, and also another thank you to everyone who follows me on Twitch who is also a subscriber on Twitch um, these days I really feel like what I'm doing is really what I want to do in my life for now. Um, so yeah, shout out to everyone who's been watching me and I really do appreciate you. Um, and yeah, if you decide to recreate my team, feel free to tag me on Instagram or on Twitter at rosypoo. And yeah, once again, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with my videos. And um, with that in mind, um, have a good rest of your day, stay safe, stay pink, and enjoy this uh, final flip through. Goodbye, friends!
And there you have it. This was my June 2021 Play With Me video. I do hope that you liked the theme this month. Um, I just wanted to add um, that I did end up adding a little bit of washi tape, but unfortunately my footage was corrupt, so I couldn't add it to the video. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the theme once again, and I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye! Thank you.